Once upon a time, nestled deep within the heart of the dark and spooky forest, stood a grand and mysterious castle. This was no ordinary castle, but the legendary Hotel Transylvania, a lavish resort for monsters of all kinds. Count Dracula, the famous vampire, was the proud owner of this magnificent hotel. He had built it as a safe haven for monsters to escape from the prying eyes of humans and enjoy their lives without fear. The hotel was equipped with everything a monster could dream of, from spooky suites to eerie entertainment, and even a haunted spa. One day, as the hotel was bustling with guests, a new visitor arrived. It was a young human boy named Johnny. Unaware that the hotel was meant exclusively for monsters, Johnny had stumbled upon it during his travels. When Count Dracula saw Johnny, he panicked. Humans were not allowed in Hotel Transylvania. Determined to keep his beloved hotel a secret, Dracula disguised Johnny as a monster. He gave him a frightful appearance and introduced him to the other guests as Johnny Stein, a distant cousin of Frankenstein. Surprisingly, Johnny fit right in. He made friends with the likes of Frankenstein, the Mummy, the Invisible Man, and the Werewolf family. Johnny's cheerful nature and love for adventure brought a breath of fresh air to the hotel. He organized fun activities and parties that all the monsters enjoyed. Even Dracula, who was initially wary of Johnny, started to warm up to him. However, Mavis, Dracula's daughter, was the one most affected by Johnny's presence. She had always been curious about the human world and found Johnny's stories fascinating. They spent a lot of time together, and their friendship soon blossomed into something more. As days went by, Dracula faced a dilemma. He didn't want to lose his daughter, but he also couldn't deny that Johnny had brought joy and excitement to Hotel Transylvania. Realizing that monsters and humans could coexist peacefully, Dracula made a brave decision. He revealed Johnny's true identity to all the guests. To his surprise, the monsters accepted Johnny wholeheartedly. They appreciated his kindness and courage, and Johnny became an honorary monster. Hotel Transylvania was no longer just a refuge for monsters, but a place where monsters and humans could come together and celebrate their differences. From that day on, Hotel Transylvania thrived like never before. It became a symbol of unity and acceptance, where everyone was welcome, regardless of who they were. And so, Count Dracula, Mavis, Johnny, and all their monster friends lived happily ever after, proving that true friendship knows no bounds. <laughs>